Hi there, how are ya? We're playing some Tetris today. Today we're gonna be answering the, some of the most important questions that you've never asked yourself, such as, why did I treat my son like that? I can't answer that for you, but I can provide you the question so you can think on it and reflect and have a sit. It's not on me to answer these questions. It's on you. It's on me to think about it. It's on me to make help you help make you think about it. But at the end of the day, I don't know your son's name. I don't even know if you have a son. But if you haven't asked yourself these kind of questions, do I have a son? Does he like mustard? I think that's really telling on your parenthood. So that said, let's get right into it. We're playing our Xenoblade version of of uh, Tetris right now. I was going for a perfect clear, but I immediately lost it. So we're just we're just doing the best we can here. I could have used this J piece right there, that blue piece, to fill in that right hole. But instead, I'm gonna use it to combo and just get a couple of little little pesky boys off my back. I could have continued it. Don't know why I didn't. Doesn't matter. My mom thinks it's important to wash your hands before every meal. And I told her, Mom, I've never ever seen you wash your hands ever in my life. And she said, well, the son, that's because you're blind. And I said, no, Mom, if you know anything about me, I'm not blind. I just failed my Buddhism class in college because I didn't go to any of my classes. You think I'm joking with you, but I'm not. I actually, I had to retake my final because my teacher never saw me in class. He didn't even know who I was. I went up, I was showed up at the final and he said, Are you in the right room? And I said, yes, sir, I am. He said, okay, tell me one thing about Buddha. And I said, well, he's big and he's fat. And he said, you know what? You're not wrong. And, and he gave me a bunch of money. He said, anyone who can speak as honestly as you deserves exorbitant amounts of cash. And I said, yes, sir, I know. That's why I'm here. I'm here for it, sir. So, here I'm building a T-spin right in the middle. T-spins are great because they do lots of damage. Damage is great because they that they do lots of damage. Anyway, does anyone here like mustard? I'm not a big fan, um, so I don't really know where to get mustard. As they say, if you're not a mustard boy, then you don't know where to get the mustard. One time, I went to Dairy Queen with my dad for his birthday. And he tried to order a bunch of mustard, and I said, Dad, I don't know much about mustard. In fact, I don't really know anything about mustard. But I'm pretty sure that it's not the place to get mustard, Dad. You can probably find mustard at a grocery store, or even a gas station, or any restaurant but Dairy Queen, pretty much. And he was like, Son, what the hell do you know about mustard? Which begs the question, why would you treat your son like that? I'm, I'm literally just trying to help you, Dad. I just, I'm concerned about your need for mustard. It's a little bit more than an average person, but I care about you. You're my dad. I want you to have the things that you love and des desire in life. And he said, what do you know about what I want to desire in life? And I said, Dad, well, I know that you want mustard because you just asked for the people at Dairy Queen to give you mustard. And even I know that, that you, this is not the place to get mustard and I'm not a mustard boy. And if I know that, then you should know that too. And Dad said, you know what, son? When you're right, you're right. I've really been adopting this teaspoon in the middle situation technique. A shenanigan co uh, combobulation. You know what it is. Yeah, I've been, I've been doing this whole thing because, um, well, it gives me two options. I can... I can go for the teaspoons, and I can also go for the regular Tetrises. It's really easy to tear it down really quick, too. So I'm really enjoying it. We're getting a lot of practice with Puyo Puyo Tetris these days. If you're trying to build fast, I highly recommend playing some Puyo Tetris. That's just some one-on-one -on -one high stakes... Um bloodbath, you know? It's, it's really intense. 
And now we're already halfway done. And you know what they say about being halfway done. Um, I, well, I don't. I don't. I don't really know what they say. I just. I was wondering if you knew. I just kind of assumed that you knew. I guess I just made an ass out of you and me. <laughs> that was a bad move. I regret doing that. I should have put that S piece that's now on the right side to the left, and then put the J piece on top of it. The hindsight's a um, hindsight. One time I was hanging out in the underworld trying to bring my deceased wife back to life and the ruler of the underworld, Hades, told me, okay, you can have her back if you don't turn around. And I was like, what kind of stipulation is that? That's easy money. And then someone tapped me on the shoulder and I turned around and it was my wife, my dead wife, playing a prank on me and she was like, haha, I made you look. And then she disappeared forever. What's your favorite prank? Write it in the comments below and maybe I can help make it come to life for you. Just like I helped my, my deceased ex-wife's prank come to life. It was so hilarious. Do you ever play patty cake with someone and then all of a sudden they tell you that you don't know the rules so you're not allowed to play? But you're like, dude, what rules? This is patty cakes. There's no rules in patty cakes. And they're like, wow, this is really telling. There's lots of rules for patty cakes and if you don't know the rules then maybe you should maybe you shouldn't claim to be a patty cake champion. And then you're like, but I never claim to be a champion. I just beat you every time. And they're like, well, you're not actually beating me. I just kind of play your game and make you happy because... It seems like this is the only thing you got going in your life. And you're like, yeah, well, ever since my son left me, I don't really know what to do with myself. And then you're like, well, maybe you shouldn't have treated him like that. Has that ever happened to you? We're in the top 13. That means we're one of the t best 13 players uh, ever. Let's finish up this game. Let's get this. Let's get this thing finished up. Get a cheeky little T spin there. We're gonna continue this combo for a little bit. Oh, that should have been a T-spin. If you ever miss a T-spin, just get on with it. There's no point in pining over it and trying to blame anyone, let alone yourself. Because there is no one to blame. Not even, um, not even mess Mr. Tetris. The guy who invented Tetris was named John Tetris. I'm just kidding, that's not his real name. I don't know what the name is, actually. Don't, maybe don't ask me these kinds of things where I'm trying to concentrate, son. Son, there's a time and a place to ask me questions, and there's also a time and a place to order mustard, and if you can't tell me either of those things, I'm gonna find a better son. Okay, Dad, sorry. I won't ask you about mustard anymore. I really wasn't trying to offend you. Well, maybe think about it next time before you ask me stupid questions like that so that I don't have to think about disowning you and finding another son that won't ask me dumb questions like that. Okay, Dad, I I'm really sorry. I Again, I really didn't mean to offend you. It's like, well, you did! It's too late, too little too late now. What do you expect me to do about it? I don't know, Dad. Um, can you just think about forgiving me and maybe not making such a big deal about it? And that's how you win Tetris. See you next time.